Practice exercise number seven, aside from one very minor calculation, is a charting task. So let's get the calculation out the way. Simply to sum sport and SNC load into one daily load value. Simple as that. And now number two is to create a combo chart with total load in columns and average wellness as a smooth line. So let's select those two columns of data, click on the insert tab and we can see now that there is a insert combo chart button. So I'm just going to choose the first option on that list, make the chart a little bit bigger so we can have a look at it. And now we can go into it and make a whole lot of edits to it. Firstly, I want to choose select data so I can add our dates as x-axis labels. Next, I want to right click on either the line or the columns and choose change series chart type. Because having such different scales makes the uh, impact of the average wellness line almost minimal, it's important to be able to plot that on a secondary axis. And so we can see now there's a little bit of value in that average wellness line, whereas previously there wasn't. If I right click on the average wellness line and choose format data series from the right click menu, we've got a bunch of options that we can look at. But the one I'm most interested in is to make it a smooth line and to make it a bit thinner and dashed for no reason, just because it allows you to have really good practice at interacting with all the different chart editing options. The next thing that we need to be able to do is because we've got two axes now, two vertical axes, we need to make sure they are labeled correctly. With the chart selected, click on the design tab if it's not already and choose add axis titles, primary vertical. Click inside the cell D4, and now our axis title reflects that. Similarly, we should do that for secondary vertical. Type an equal sign in the formula bar, and click on average wellness in cell E4, and that now becomes the axis title on the right hand side. Right clicking on the right hand axis, even though it currently says 0 and 10, we want to make sure that, that is fixed. At the moment it's on auto, and if a value of 10 appeared, it may actually jump up higher. So by typing over the 10 manually, it turns them into hard coded values. Let's also have the major unit be 2. That just gives us less numbers on that x-axis, it's a bit clearer. The next questions ask us to modify what's currently a single column chart into a stacked column chart. Instead of editing the current one, I'm just going to make a copy of it. So I'm going to paste the copy underneath and modify the one on top. By right-clicking and choosing Select Data, instead of Total Load, I'm going to edit that. I'm going to change it to SNC Load, and I'm going to also edit the referencing cells. This won't have too much of an impact on the chart, but when I add another one, I can choose Sport Load and add the items from Column B. And now if I select on one of the existing series and choose Change Series Chart Type, we can see that what it tried to do was to plot sport load on the secondary axis. So I'm going to untick that. And I'm going to change SNC load to Stacked Column. 
and sport load to stacked column. And consequently, the chart has adjusted and we have still total load, but it's two tone in the column now. Bottom part is SNC, top part is sport. We could, if we wanted to, right click, choose select data and make sport the bottom value. I don't think it matters particularly, but in my opinion, it's the more important. And so inside that data source box, I'm able to adjust and move sport load up to the top. Now we want to use total load values as custom data labels. Now it's an interesting concept to try and there's a little bit of a flaw in this task and we'll have a look at it shortly. But let's go through the exercise anyway. Just going to unobscure that total load column. If I right click, choose add data labels. Now with the data labels selected, choose format data labels. So we've got a variety of options and in Excel 2013 we've got a new one which is called value from cells. We can now select the cells that we want to add the labels from and click OK. What we need to untick is value because the value is going to show S and C load when we only want to have it show total load. And so I mentioned that there was a bit of a flaw in this model and that is because I've attached those labels to S and C load, the days where there is no S and C load, such as the 7th and the 11th, there is no label, as you can see. So it's not a perfect solution. You could choose to for example, delete those labels, right click on the grey bars, choose add data labels, right click on the data labels, format them, choose value from cells, just like we did before, select total load, format those data labels to show inside the base and that's got a much better hit because there's very few days without any sport load but still there are some gaps so if you just want to show total load there's a couple of interesting options the one that I like the most is to right click select data add new data series Series name is total load. Series values are the total load values. And interestingly, we get a single vertical bar on the 23rd of January. If I select any series and choose change series chart type, I can make total load be a line on the primary axis. I can then format the data series to have no line at all, but to have data labels instead. I can select the data labels to show them somewhere above, below, it doesn't matter too much, but we do now have data labels for total load without a visible total load series on the chart. I'm just going to do one further tidy up and that's to make a chart title and this task is done. The drawing and creation of charts is something you really need to get good at so you can never do too much practice even if it's with random data sets. I think um, one further tidying action on the uh, top chart would be to select inside the legend and just delete that total load out of there. It's unnecessary because it's just a distraction really.